I am going to show you how to decorate your fish stick puppet. This is what you will get in, in the back. This is a reversible stick puppet. You're going to get one mouth for each side, one eye for each side, and sequences to decorate the body. So you're going to need some glue. And what you do is you're going to start with the mouth. So you do just a little dot of glue for the mouth. And you let it dry right there. And then with your glue, you're going to choose what to do. So think about it first. Try to imagine. And then I'm going to do one line here. Let's see, like that. And one wave right there. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the little sequences from your baggie and just place them on top of the glue line like that. And you're just going to let it sit to dry. And then for these tail I'm gonna do another little line of sequences like that you're gonna have plenty so you can either choose the colors that you want or just whatever falls into the hand that's the color you want and the end would be the eye that goes like that see the different designs you can do lines or you can do just random places like that and you have two sides to do whatever you want so the other side is the same thing you do the eye you do the mouth and then you think of what you want to do with the sequences like that and just add the dots this time I'm going to make lines going this way. So you can imagine how that is going to look. Okay, so this is the bear puppet that you're going to get. And the different parts and what you have to do. So we're going to start with the ears. You're going to glue this part of the ears to your bear. And then we have the paws and the snout, the eyes and the nose. But let me show you something before. This is how you can position the parts before you glue them. So let's try the different things you can do so you can decide what you want to do. You can have these big eyes for your bear. See how he looks? Let me show you how you can do his mouth. You can draw a line like this, and then a smile. That's one way. You can have his nose going down here and then draw two lines like that and see the different look. You can also make his nose all the way here. how he looks or we can even change you can decide to make little eyes and make a different snout maybe going like that
And now let me show you something very interesting. If you have your snout down here with the eyes touching the snout, he looks like a young bear. But if you have your eyes up here, it makes him look older. Look at that. See how much older he looks? Or you can separate your eyes like this. And then younger if you put him down. And you can pick between the brown bear or the rainbow bear. And now one last thing I want to show you what to do with his paws. You're gonna draw his fingers going one, two, three, four, and then a circle. And then you do it on the other side. One, two, three, four, and the bigger circle. And there are his paws. Now on the other side, we have a little Velcro so we can attach his tail. 